Hey, I'm Leah Tim with Saint Beauty and I am going to be showing you an extremely popular eyeshadow look that I use very frequently and I get a lot of questions about. So we are going to do that today and we are going to start with our eyeshadow brush and the color Zion. So I'm going to take the Zion color right here and I'm going to take the fluffy end of my brush and I'm just going to tap in gently. Our colors are extremely pigmented so you do not need a lot and we're going to tap off any additional excess and we are just going to start placing that zion right in our crease you can see that i did not add a lot of color to that brush but it still deposits a generous amount on your eye and working that with blending with that fluffy end of that brush just in that crease until you have that desired look and color all right so super soft super subtle the amazing thing about this soft brush is it's going to do the blending right away for you so i'm also going to take that zion color and do the exact same thing on the other side like so in this uh, crease area and you always want to make sure that you get it even on both sides i have one eye that's a little bit hooded and one that's not so i have to make sure that my placement is correct on both sides. Now you can see one side has a little bit of a heavier look than the other, and I personally like the heavier look in the crease, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more on this side, right here, just in this top area. I don't necessarily need it in the crease, but just to match the equal side and keep it nice and balanced. Like that. Now I'm gonna to switch to my smudge brush our smudge brush has a pointed end and a flat end and I'm going to take that flat end and I'm going to spray it with our setting spray first. It's going to help that color be a little bit more concentrated on the eye but because it's a shimmer it's also going to help keep it from dragging underneath your eyes as well. So I'm going to go into my next color called You Complete Me right here and I'm going to take that flat end with a setting spray and I'm just going to dab into that you complete me still going to tap off any additional excess and i'm just going to start patting that on my lid now i like to have the center of my eye where my pupil is really nice and concentrated so i start in that spot to give it the most deposit and then i work my way through the rest of my lid now again, if you don't have this smudge brush, you can apply with your fingers as well. You don't have to go off and run off and get a bunch of different brushes. I do recommend the eyeshadow brush because it is so versatile and amazing with blending and depositing. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side over here, tapping that you complete me on my eyes. A Little bit more on this side right here. until you have that desired look. So you can tell it's very nice and warm. I have blue eyes, so these colors all look phenomenal on blue eyes. Like so. And then I'm gonna go back to my eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take this small detailed end and I'm gonna go into this color right here called Cocoa. I'm just gonna tap that little bit. Because it's a darker color, you really don't need a lot, but it's gonna deposit a lot of color and I'm just gonna go right on the outer edge and I'm just gonna start tapping in like so, okay? Don't worry about it being messy. We're just looking to deposit that color on that outer edge right now because we're gonna use our fluffy end to blend it out. So just tapping that cocoa, making sure you have the same amount of deposit of color on each side like that. Then I'm going to flip over this brush and I'm just going to kind of dust off the Zion color with my brush tile here. I love this thing for eyeshadows. It's amazing at going from color to color without transferring a light color onto a dark color. So now I'm just going to take this fluffy end and I'm just going to start working it to my desired liking just right at the edge, softening that edge just that little bit. And then, once I have that edge done, I'm just gonna start dragging it into my crease to deepen that, 
just a little bit. I don't want a whole lot because I really like that sh lid to stay nice and shimmery, but I want to kind of carry that darker color into that lid a little bit. So I'm going to go on the same si other side and do the exact same thing, soften up that edge. And then once that edge is soft, kind of drag it into my crease just a little tiny bit, okay? Like so. I'm gonna add a little bit more Zion up into my lid or upper lid area. Just tapping that fluffy end and just bringing that up a little bit higher, like so. And then the exact same thing on the other side because we always wanna keep everything nice and even. All right, so now I'm gonna take that smaller detailed end again and I'm gonna go into the Zion color, tap it in. Tap off any additional, and I'm gonna go right along the bottom lash line, depositing that Zion as an eyeliner look. Like that. And then the same thing on the other side. And if you're just looking for a daytime look, just that Zion under there is phenomenal. If you wanna deepen it up and make it a little bit more dramatic for a nighttime look, Go back in with that cocoa color. No need to clean off your brush. Cocoa color, just a tiny bit. And then take that and drag it right along that bottom lash here as well. And you can see that even though I already have all the makeup on my face, you don't see a lot of that transfer or any transfer underneath your eyes. When you put your colors on, they're going to stay where you put them. It's absolutely amazing. Best eyeshadows and brushes and products I have ever personally used and that's why I stand behind them so much because and fall in love with them and truly am passionate about what I do because it's it's amazing to me when you get a good product how easy it is to stand behind it. So now since I want to kind of add a little bit of a shimmer, highlight these eyebrows, that we all pay so much money for to get done, right? I'm gonna go into my powdered illuminator called Glamazing, and I'm just gonna take it on the inner corner just to brighten up that inner eye. See how much that made that pop right there? In that inner corner. Same thing on this side. And then I'm also gonna highlight my brow bone right here, just kinda slightly blend in that brighter color on that arch so you can see the difference between having a little bit of a shimmer under that arch and not. So now I'm gonna add it on this side as well. Tap it in here, use a clean finger just to kind of blend it in that little tiny bit. And that is it. If you wanna deepen up your look, you can keep depositing color until you have the look that you uh, want. But together we used Zion, You Complete Me, Coco, and then a little bit of glamazing at the end. And then you got this gorgeous, super warm eyeshadow look. Stunning on any color eyes. I personally have blue. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara to the bottom lid and I am set to go. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.